God damn, poison everywhere. Okay. Hey, Jack, is there a problem? Close. Oh, cloth. Was that meant to be? Okay. Oh, that's cloth fell on your forehead. Are you okay? Surprise. I ain't been for you surprised. Uh, it's uh, some kind of bed sheet. It's a bit tough and old. Uh, not uh, that we need it. So let's just leave it here. Oh, there's Alice's one. Alright. Got all the items. Cool. Oh, did you find something interesting? Uh, not at all. Just the plain old uh, cloth that fell on Jack's head. That's... Oh, you, you took it off. Uh, you took it out of my hand if I knew it. Alice? Yes, a tablecloth. A tablecloth? You use it to cover a table, uh, you know, use the cover table with. It's an essential piece to have, to have a tea party. The way it's uh, draped uh, can make a huge uh, difference uh, with uh, how the tea party will fare. I don't know about that, but okay. She's getting excited, isn't she? It's no ordinary cloth, uh, for sure. It's very precious. Uh, if, it, if you don't have any use for it, uh, do you mind if I have it instead? Yes. Uh, sure, it's not like I would use it. I think it's uh, best uh, in your in your care and hands, Alice. Thank you. I'm going to wash it and clean it the moment we return. I uh, look forward uh, to the teapot I prepare using this. All right. All right, and we got to find a rose key. All right. Oh, that took a hot minute. That took a hot minute. God. Oh. We finally found the core. Oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> Oh lord, alright. Uh, what's- yeah, that's the call. Yes, and destroying that somehow makes the gel towel grow. I don't think of it. I remember seeing uh, something like that, uh, something like it when I woke up. Really? You woke up next to a core? Yeah, she might tell us more about that later. Yes, yeah, so probably, uh, yeah, is- yeah, I'll probably just do, uh, first destroy the core. But does destroying this core uh, let us uh, have a chance to get fighting against that nightmare? No, I don't think so. That nightmare runs into a number of areas, so I doubt uh, the core uh, here is related to it. So it must be for the other nightmare here. That's too bad. No problem, we just have to kill them all. I agree with you. Uh, defeat them all and the problem is solved. A guardian. Now then, let's show it our power. Oh, blood as usual, aren't you? Dependable, isn't that word uh, to use, Gretel? That's not something I expect to hear from Hamlin, but alright. I'm not going to let Hamlin uh, take the stage away from me. That's the spirit. Uh, now let's... Now then, let's go. I'm quite surprised... Oh, hello, that's a thing. I'm quite surprised how little the... um Splitting of the party actually mattered. It really didn't do nothing. You eat the wind? You is. Lovely. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, that worked. Ain't gonna look no gift horses in the mouth, let me tell you. I'm looking. I'm sitting here looking at Kagura, and I'm just thinking, "Oh dear, this could be a problem. <laughs> this could be a problem." This could be a problem. Oh, that worked out wonderfully. That worked out beautifully. Alright, Kage did not attack a single party member. That's a good time in my books. I was concerned, let me tell you. Beat the guard. 
It looks like we can destroy the core now. Oh then let's. It sounds so weary. Oh, but that means that we can uh, face the nightmare here. Yep, no running. I have to say, it sure feels good to destroy a core. Yeah, so true. Also, do you have a minute? What is it? I forgot to ask, but what did you uh, talk about with Itsuki? You know already, don't you? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, we talked uh, whether something other than Jack's blood can heal someone from Blood Scaler. Uh, he asked me if uh, maybe uh, we found a new cure or something. I see. I like how Gretel, Gretel is fully aware of this shit. She knows exactly what me, as the player who is aware of things, <laughs> knows. But she's like, I'm not gonna say. I wanna see if y'all figure this shit out. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> she knows. Uh, what he said Bob Snow White too. Uh, me too, it was strange. You both noticed? So what did you reply? I said I didn't find anything. I also told him that uh, if I do find a cure, I'll let him know. No, oh, girl, you don't know of any other cure, would you? Of course not. I do, though, have a theory, and uh, when confirmed, I will let you all know. Really? I wonder what the question was about. Now, Itsuki also seemed a bewildered uh, seeing Alice safe without any real injuries. That's right, she wasn't blood scared, but wasn't hurt or anything. To add, her clothes were identical uh, to back uh, then without any blemishes or tears. Injuries can heal on their own, but I doubt clothes can do the same. Do you recall uh, whether Alice's clothes uh, were damaged when we last saw her? Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, not that it's uh, something that I'll be on the lookout for. Yeah, I doubt uh, I would have uh, kept her her clothes too. It is impossible. Yeah, it is possible that she was in blood to up, but might actually avoided it's, her clothes being torn. That's possible. She didn't meet any enemies while blood scare. Come to think, uh, if she kept a. Uh, Sewing tools with her, uh, then she uh, could have mended her uh, smaller tears. I guess we have no answers. Well, maybe we can uh, come back to it later. So, do any of you think uh, there, uh, there may be a, a way to cure someone without the use of Jack's blood? Well, I don't think there's a chance of that, but... If there is uh, another way, uh, then it uh, can become another beacon of hope for us. How the heck is beacon? What's the chance of someone uh, curing blood scar? Uh, by being near a core. But that goes against what happened with Cinderella, wouldn't it? Uh, we fought near cores before, uh, but I don't recall seeing anything unusual then. I suppose that's a far-fetched hypothesis, uh, hypothesis then. Uh, how about uh, getting cured if you go to the jail tower? Uh, I'm not uh, convinced simply uh, going there will cure someone's blood scar state. Okay, then what about the core on the tower? Maybe it has healing powers. I guess that could be a possibility. It is, uh, yeah, that is if the core there uh, has different properties than the cores in the other areas. So we're pretty much uh, inconclusive uh, whether there's a, a different way to cure ourselves or not. Or we can uh, say that the possibility of a cure may exist. As he did mention that Alice's unusual state uh, made it difficult for him to trust her words. Might I add that I find it odd uh, that she would be at the jail tower in the first place. Uh, she was near the core too. Uh, that's uh, probably a place uh, guarded well by a guardian. Uh, could everything just be a mad coincidence? Buscar takes our mind uh, from reality, so it's entirely possible that things unimaginable may happen. I wonder if that state uh, actually brings out our primal instincts to go to the tower. Yeah, but if, if that's the reason, Cinderella should yeah, should have been there too. Same with Kagi and Red Riding Hood. Uh, they should have been there too. Maybe they were on their way there. I doubt uh, they have the cognitive reasoning uh, to do yeah to do that uh, besides fighting and running. Run. Is there any reason why Buscat would induce us to run? I guess there aren't any real answers yet. Yeah, I'm sure we'd know more if we had more Buscat's case apples. I'll say this beforehand, but we're not going to induce Buscat for the sake of research. Uh, yes, that'd be uh, taking things a bit too far. Uh, if we have the proper equipment and facilities, and uh, uh, we should do that, but no matter. The mystery only deepens. 
Even so, unlike before, I can feel I like we're actually unraveling mysteries instead. Yes, at the very least, uh, we know. Yeah, we know more than before now. Yep. Uh, so we should continue to have conversations like this to find out more. Hey, see so you're ready to face a nightmare here. Be ready. Oh uh, well, yes, of course. I'll win for sure. Pretty confident, aren't you? Well, we should get going. There's no telling when the nightmare will strike. Uh, so let's keep our guards up. Gretel knows. Gretel knows. <laughs> She's onto this bullshit. And the white darkness is starting to fill the area. Kill all night. You, you you really need to expand your vocabulary, Madden. You speak you speak less words than Sleeping Beauty. Uh, destroying the core means that we can uh, fight the nightmare now, right? It feels so odd uh, that the nightmare uh, looks weak in comparison to the, the other one we fought. Well, that doesn't uh, mean it's weak. Uh, you better not let your guard down or else. Of course I won't. I may have lost against that other nightmare, but I won't lose to this one. Uh, to add, uh, we have a lot, a lot in our party now. There's no way we'd lose. Is everyone ready? Let's go. Let's fuck this boy up. Uh, what y'all weak to? Let's try water. And then let's try wind. Water. Part water, part wind. Aight. Not the way I wanted. Alright, phase two. It sure looks different now. Yeah, you can say you can say what you see here is a true form. <laughs> Alright. Me protect Alice. The Jack seems ready. Alright, let's finish this. This boy going down. I'm not, a fan, I'm not a fan of how we lost two massacre modes, but it is what it be. It do be how it is. No wind weakness, alright. Let's try water again. And let's throw an earth, why not? Not water? Not earth, alright. Alright, that wasn't that. That wasn't really an issue. You eat the fire? You eat the fire in this form. Alright, cool. Oh, you are weak to fire. Oh, Hamlin in danger. Hamlin in big danger. All right. I can't hold it back any longer. Now you know what we gonna we gonna just no. <laughs> I ain't I ain't risking. I'm glad. 
I didn't know. I didn't realize that book was still alive. All right. This is going strangely well. <laughs> not not to not to uh jinx it, but this is going weirdly well. Suspiciously well. Questionably well. That went questionably well. I don't trust what just took place. Yeah, this is heading your way. Leave it to me. And it did. Did I beat it? Yeah, she sure did. Good job, Alice. Nice fight. Alice was all boom and zoom all over. I don't know what that means. It was amazing considering uh, you only uh, woken as a blood maiden recently. It makes my life easy, so... Uh, no, no, you're so dependable. <laughs> I did, I did it, Jack. Congratulations. <laughs> did you... I thought it was going to be Pat. Wait. Did you... Wait, hang on. Did you... Did you pay my head to praise me, you think? Is that meant to be Pat? Did you pat my head to praise me? Thank you. I've, I assume. Spilling error. I would have never made it if you didn't protect me. Thank you. Ah, let's protect, protect. Jack sounds happier than usual. I can tell uh, they're, in their, they're in their own zone now. Good for you, Jack. I can feel his happiness surging through me. I can tell Jack is completely enamoured with Alice. Well, I think everyone can tell Jack is happy now. You're right about that, Jack is really happy. I'm so glad we found Alice. I haven't seen uh, Jack so happy before. Yes, I'm sure yeah, it must have been stressful for him not being able to find her. And now his wish has come true. I'm quite surprised to see a nightmare being able to express himself so noticeably. I have to remind you that Jack was once human. Indeed, which is why uh, he is able to react like this. Couldn't Hansel? Uh, Jack and Alice uh, were the uh, main players this time, were they? Were they? <laughs> you only have to tone down your holy than now attitude. Oh, let me remind you, I am the, I am, uh, the leader, and you are all members of Hamlin's Hero, uh, Hero Hamlin's Pie. Oh, have me cool, big shot. In any case, uh, keep doing your best, Alice. Uh, Hamlin, I don't think she's listening to you. Jack, don't ever leave me like that again. No, leave. I can, I can understand what you're saying now. Hello, listen to me. <laughs> uh, Hamlin is her usual uh, self, no matter the situation, right? I'm just happy Jack's wish came true. Yeah, but I can feel his happiness well beyond what uh, he can contain. Is he able to control his emotions? Hopefully uh, this isn't anything bad. Yeah, we'll see. What? What? Did we just go into an event? Did, what? Did, did we just walk into an event? Okay. Uh, that voice, Princess. Uh, princess, what's the matter? Oh, so. Princess, what happened? Was that you screaming, Mummy? Uh, what in the world uh, was that? What's going on? You know, what a way to greet the morning. Yeah, what well, seems to be the problem? Did we just walk into an event, or is this is this story related? I'm not sure. I hope you so. Please tell me what's wrong. Oh, so Mike, the mic uh, microphone broke. I turned the switch on and it didn't work. It was fine earlier. I can't sing like this. I see. Uh, excuse me, I don't, I don't understand what's happening here. Princess's blood libido is to sing, hence her microphone is very precious to her. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Isn't there uh, something I can do? Oh wait, there's stuff out here. Uh, what sort of commotion? Something wrong here, sweeties? <laughs> what perfect timing. A person who may be able to help you is here. Oh, what, are you talking about me? I get it. Yeah, talk to me. Can you please fix Princess's microphone? I'm sure you can, right? Uh huh. What? Just fix it. Oh, so you need to calm down. Oh, uh, you're right. Sorry. You're apologizing to the wrong person. I'm sorry, talk to me. Uh, sure, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, what's this about a mic? You mind showing me? Yeah. Mm, wow. So it can't be fixed. Unfortunately, no. Not with the parts I have on hand. But. That means that if you had the parts, you can fix it, right? Uh, where can we find them? You'll be able to find them at the former library district. Uh, you heard that? You know what to do, right? Alright, let's go to the former library district to find the parts. Alright, let's get going, Prono. Yeah, uh, please wait. Uh, Prince, take this order to me. I promise uh, you'll, get your, you'll get your mic fixed. That's not it. Uh, you don't need to fix it. But why? I'm so full of commotion, but really, I'm fine. I can sing about, so please don't burn yourselves with this. But then, absolutely not. Eh, she's right. You always, ha uh, you always help us, uh, so this is the least we can do. Also, you woke us up at like five in the morning for this bullshit, so we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to do it regardless. Uh, you worry too much, mammy. Uh, uh, just ask us for help. That's all. Uh, but Tess, I thought you wouldn't want to go back there because of all the bad memories. Yeah, but you woke up at five in the morning, so uh, nothing uh, to it uh, for my uh, sweet, cute little sister. And to add, uh, we're talking about blood abuse here. Uh, we all know uh, the pain uh, we go through because of it. Everyone, thank you. Uh, we're only doing uh, what's right. Uh, we're friends after all. Now then, let's head to the former library district. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I guess that's I guess that's the next objective. Okay. <laughs>